The 60s were a decade defined by bright colors, fluid patterns, and psychedelic imagery. This era was a huge turning point for the design industry. It also saw creatives move away from earthy tones, ad style caricatures, and pinup style icons that dominated the design world of the 50s. The 60s were a time for creatives to experiment and that was incredibly evident in the graphic and surface pattern design of the era. From pop art to optical art to the loose, melty vibes of psychedelic design, the time brought about new styles that were often inspired by the psychedelic movement. This style spanned multiple genres and impacted art, movies, fashion, music, and more. The style inspiration of this era has found its way to modern day design aesthetics. Early in 2022, I shared my annual surface pattern design and graphic design trends forecast and one of the most popular trends for 2022 was this groovy, psychedelic inspired 1960s throwback. I continue to see it in the groovy florals that I see in fashion, fabrics, and interiors, as well as the ever popular mushroom motifs that have come about. In this month's class, we are going to be experimenting with these concepts and applying them to surface pattern design to create some fun, groovy, 60s inspired designs in Affinity Designer right on our iPad. Hi everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome. If you're a returning student, welcome back. I'm Jen and I will be guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit me online at www.bellasophiacreative.com and you can also check out my YouTube channel, The Creative Studio. There you will get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator, as well as access to a huge library of additional free tutorials relating to art, design, illustration, and so much more. So what is this class about? As I mentioned at the top of this video, this month I'm coming back with another surface pattern design course. We're going to be tapping into inspiration from eras past and creating our own groovy 60s inspired psychedelic patterns in the Affinity apps right on our iPad. I will also share my process for sourcing research and the steps that I take to build a collection. When it comes to the skills that students will learn, before we jump into learning how to create the designs, we will learn more about this transformative era as it applies to the design world what influenced the era, and some popular motifs that we see continuing to be used even today. We will tap into research to help us create a narrative for our collection, then using that narrative, tap into keywords that we can then use to pull inspiration for our patterns. We'll build a mood board that we can reference in our sketching process as well. Then we will begin the creation process. We will sketch our motif concepts, refine them, and then begin to build the patterns in Affinity Designer. Then we will finalize and export those patterns and I will show you how I set up a file system and save my layered files and create look sheets so that they can be sent to clients for future use. So who is this class for? This is more of an intermediate class. So in order to follow along, I suggest you have some basic knowledge on how to create surface patterns. But if it's your first time building your pattern in Affinity Designer, don't fret as I take my time walking you through this part of the course. If you wanna have a basic understanding of pattern design, I do suggest checking out some of my other intro to surface pattern design courses, and I'll make sure to link them in the course description. So when it comes to the class projects and the tools that will be needed, the tools that you will need to work through this class include an iPad, an Apple Pencil or a stylus of your choice, and the Affinity Designer app. For your class project, you will be creating a mini collection of three prints within the Affinity Designer app. You'll want to create a hero print, a secondary print, and a coordinate. We'll be designing these prints using the steps and techniques that we go through together in the class. Make sure you check out the class resources for the course guide that you can reference as you work through the class. I'm really excited to create with you today. Let's get started.